this is your, your basic screen for stage light. Up at the top, I'll use a mouse so you guys up there can, can see it, but it is all touch um, enabled. Um, right here, you've got a rewind button, record button, play, stop. This right here is called a metronome. We call it a click track. It basically just shows you your, your tempo, and you can, of course, change that if you want. Um, and right here, we've got a loop function, which you can turn on and off. And this uh, lets you know what part of the song you're working on. Uh, one thing we've done with Stage Light is make it so you can um, play notes using different things. You can play notes using the mouse, you can use the QWERTY keyboard, and you can use the screen. Uh, for this first one, I'll show you the, uh, the QWERTY keyboard. If you just start playing right there, you start making some music. And all you have to do is click on that, hit record. Let's say you come up with a little phrase that you like. Just hit record and you can put it in. And since our loop function's on, it just loops. Let's say I, um, I played a wrong note. Maybe I can go in here. This is called the, this is a grid mode, and you can see all the notes that you played right there. So all you would have to do is grab the note that you didn't like, and you move it. I can actually do that on the screen as well. That's if I forgot to play a note or I want to add a note, I can either do that with the mouse or I can just click right there on the screen, and you've got the note. I'm actually, clicking on the spots on the way over. Um, going on though, let's say we've got our synth hook and we like that. Uh, we can click right here and go down to a bass line and um, hit record and do that. One thing you'll notice too is that um, as you're playing, stay light, stage light basically just puts everything you're playing perfectly on beat. If you don't have the best rhythm, it'll help you out. <laughs> um, another thing though is, let's say I played that whole phrase and I played the whole thing too high. Um, you just simply go here, select it all, and use this button to drop it down, and it's nice and uh, it's a nice and deep bass sound. Okay. So let's move on. Let's say I, I play those two things and I like those. I want to add some drums. Drums are the type of thing that you know, different people like to play drums different ways. So we've allowed uh, you can again use the uh, the uh, QWERTY keyboard to do it. Come down here. You can play right there. Uh, you can open up your drum kit and play it on the screen, just like this. And there's a third option that I want to show you uh, that I like to use. It's called a step sequencer. You just pull out some, uh, some frames like that, and you open it up, and this is your step sequencer. And when you press play, you see that little cursor moving across, and you start adding notes. They start playing, right? You can do uh, multi-touch, you can do them two at a time, you can drag one down and create a little bit of a groove. You know, like that. Now you got a nice little, little drum beat going on. So, so far we've done, everything we've done is just using the XPS and Stage Light. You didn't have to buy any other hardware or any other software, and you can just keep stacking tracks just like this until you're finished with your song and you can you know, send it to your friends and you're done. Um, but let's say you wanted to uh, add a piece of hardware, you want to try something uh, that could expand the capabilities of the, of the software. You might use uh, something like this, uh, this is a piano keyboard controller right here. I grew up playing piano, so this is the most uh, natural instrument to me. And it basically, for those of you guys who don't know uh, about these controllers, they work the same way as a, as a QWERTY keyboard. They're not, they don't, this doesn't make any sound at all, it just tells stage like what to play. So I jump down here to this track, and actually what I'm about to play, I could play on the screen, I could play with the QWERTY keyboard, but for me, being a, a person with a piano background, this is just simply <coughs> faster for me. So. So uh, the last track down here is an audio track. And um, these tracks enable you to uh, add, you can add guitar, you can add vocals, you can add um, drums, anything you can record directly into the computer. Um, 
what stage light actually also comes with is a library of audio sounds that if you right click on, the, on your uh, on the screen there, you can see your sound browser and you can open it up and you can use any of these sounds right here. If you want kind of like a hip hop break beat, you can do something like that. If you're thinking, oh no, this is a rock song, I want to go down here and grab a um, oh, rock of course, sounds like the kind of beat I want. And all you have to do is just go ahead here and click add and it jumps right into the, into the track. In fact, stage light will, will determine, it will look at your file and say, oh, this thing is, let's put it, let's start the, the, the track here, let's end it here, and it'll put it on beat for you, even if it was if it was recorded to a different tempo. It'll stick it on the beat, and if you were to change the tempo of your song, it'll stretch and compress to stay on tempo with your song. You don't have to do anything. And that's actually one of the more powerful uh, parts of the software, but again, it's made easy. Um, let's say, though, that I don't like this, this drum beat on here, and I have a friend, this doesn't really finish the song for me, and I've got a friend who recorded some guitar at home. Um, they I might do that all the time. <laughs> let's say Steve recorded some guitar for me at home, and um, all I've got to do, he can, he can email it to me, he could, um, you know, he could post it in the cloud, I could grab it, put it in my song just like this, I just import the audio, and again, it just locks right into our song, and, and we've got the whole thing. And all we have to do once we've got a finished song, we just go up here to the menu, mix it down. This mix down song right here would send it to the desktop, you can put it on your MP3 player. Um, we also have an option to uh, mix down directly to SoundCloud, which is basically one click, you can send it. Uh, to your SoundCloud account and all your friends online can go check it out. That's it. That's it. Well, To some people, that's crazy, right? You, you can make a Linkin Park song in this software in less than 10 minutes, um, do it pretty quickly. And although I know a lot of you doubt that you can do that yourself with no music background, the guys from Open Labs and I are very confident that you could too, because it's a super powerful piece of software, but it's built to have somebody who's never played a note in their life making music on it in no time. And for, for those of you guys that already have a Dell um, and you want to get it, I, I forgot to mention the price. It's actually only $10. And it's available at Open Labs right now. <laughs> Excuse me, well, today we're actually announcing a partnership with Open Labs, Lincoln Park, and Dell so that anyone can get these capabilities on a limited edition Lincoln Park Touch product from Dell including this XPS 27 that, that Mike uses. You know, Mike, I, I love how you uh, describe collaboration with Open Labs, their newest software, and it spawns from your feedback. And interacting directly with customers, listening to what they say, acting on their feedback, that's been the core at, at Dell since, since we started. And in the last few years, we've added a lot of capability around 